thank you thank you and then they're just like oh my god and it's just like so dark they come next to me and then they put their hand like <laughs> no, next no. to my like no. and they're just like look like i'm almost getting to your skin complexion i just need uh -uh. to go to like italy for a summer and then like i'm at the same complexion as you so i i get that a lot where they What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Shucks React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today, we're back with another American reaction. Super excited about this video. If you're new to us, and, and we're new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 200k. And we cannot get there without you guys. All right? right, join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. I think no one's experience is wrong. This is what I went through and I just want to let you guys know how it was for me. So, you know, obviously I'm black and so the first thing that I would say which I experience because I'm black in Germany is the staring. So the staring is a little bit intense. Like I have never been stared at so long in my life. Like normally in New York, like you just glance by someone like quickly and if you see them see you, you look away immediately. But I found in Germany, in the southern part where I lived, they just stared so hard. And if you stared back at them, they don't look away. Like they'll just stare straight at you and Mommy. don't blink, don't nothing. Golly. Okay. It's funny when she said they don't look away because I feel like we all have like this, the same thing that we do. If we see someone staring at us, we'll look away. Then we'll look the back time. to make the first, the first time. time. Then we'll look look back to make sure that they looked away too. And if they don't look away, we we gonna be staring. Yeah, it's gonna be a staring contest at that point. Uh, I, yeah. I think from a woman's perspective, it's gonna be some some neck rolling that's going along with that, like <laughs> one of these, like you know what I'm saying. And but I do have to say, I'll say hi. If they don't say hi back, oh, we really staring. I think you can vibe out with a stare though. Like you can see the energy behind a stare. Mm-hmm. But granted, we have come to know that some people don't see it as rude. They're staring because they're studying you. I had to learn that. But we has we have to learn that. But I had to learn here, that. studying means that I mean not studying here. Staring sometimes means why are you why are you here? Like you're yeah. not good enough to be in the space that you're in. Um, and it means other rude things like you know they're trying to okay. Let's say if we in like a upscale store mm -hmm. top of the line store let's say we in um just to say store a store just a store right a store where you have to have a salesperson i don't want to put out a name <laughs> i don't want to put out a name on right. don't don't be coming for me but a store where you have to have an assistant to shop mm -hmm. in that store if if a customer comes in and they're staring at you in that way it usually means they're trying to figure out how you're in this store how how can you afford to be in this store true story you know true so story, that's what story. we're used to and i know a lot of our german supporters um thank you guys so much for your love first 100%, of all yeah um a lot of y'all have been wondering like why why do americans focus so much on race we have so many videos expressing our views about our culture and I feel like you have to understand our culture and not just the black culture but American culture right, right. and how it's important for other black people, not just Americans, but of, of the diaspora to watch videos like this so that we can prepare ourselves for certain spaces. Now what we have gotten, this is our second Black in Germany video. Um, what we have gotten is that it, we're accepted. Bottom line, we Pretty are accepted. Much. Yeah. We don't want to go into a society where we wouldn't be accepted. You know, so. Yeah. That's why these videos are important. And it's just sometimes it's a little bit like, damn, do I have like ketchup on my face? But obviously that's not the reason. Not like, ketchup. that's not the reason. It's because I'm black. Like, that's the only reason why you're staring so long at me. So the staring is a little bit intense and I do get that on a daily basis. It's very hard to blend in here, very hard to, you know, disappear into the wall because you're black and it just is what it is. The next point that I wanted to bring up to you guys is kind of the ignorant comments. Oh. Obviously you'll get ignorant comments 
anywhere in America, South America, Africa. I don't know, you can get ignorant comments anywhere in the world. But again, I'm just telling you what I've experienced here and I'll give you two prime examples. So it's the where are you from question, which mm -hmm. it seems to boggle people all the time where I'm from. I would randomly get stopped, I don't know, at the bus stop or in the train station it's randomly and they're just like, oh my God, you're so beautiful. Like, which is really nice, like, thank you. Oh my God, like, where are you from? What are you doing here? And I'm just like, oh, I'm from, you know, New York and I'm here just working and traveling. And then, you know, most of the time they just cut me off at like New York and they're just like, no, 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 no. They're just where like, no, really from? where are you really from? Where are you really from? And oh. I'm just like, I, I just said it, I'm from New York. And they're just like, no, 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 no. Where are your parents? No, where are your parents from? And then I'm like, they're Jamaican. And then they're just like, oh, they're just like, oh, okay. So you are Jamaican. Okay. Whew. It's like a whole way to... Right, okay. Well, we are a land of immigrants, so... I mean, we're, we are not a land of... We're a part of gumbo. We live in the land of immigrants, so... That's that where you're from from question yeah. that she's been talking about, so... Yeah. yeah. See, if we was asked that question, <laughs> y'all would have me giving y'all a whole history lesson. Y'all know I like history. We're like, okay, um... So, my fifth generation... Oh, Lord. <laughs> See, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a play with you a little bit. I'm going to be like, where you usually get, you know, your information about where people from from? You know what I'm saying? Like, so when you usually come up to people when they tell you where they're from, what's your percentage of where they come from? Like, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I like to know what you know before I tell you what I know. Right. That way we can That's have an understanding <laughs> on, I, well, but I can't understand what I'm going to tell you concerning what you need to know. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's how you play your cards. Yeah, and by the end of the conversation, he got the people laughing. Dion is a people person. Oh, yeah, 100%. I, I am you. the... I'm the historian. So I'm like, okay, so the slave trade. Oh, Lord. Because, no, because, you know, a lot of times African Americans don't know other than America. She's fortunate. She has Caribbean parents. So, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why you got to know the headspace at. Because yeah. sometimes they let you into what they really want to know mm -hmm. before you can just drop the bombshell on, on somebody about conversations that they probably just be like, no, 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 no. But where you're from, right. you know what I'm saying? So, well, I was raised. Well, no, I'm, I'm <laughs> here. With, well, I was born mm. in this hospital. <laughs> right. Have you, it almost sounds like they know your people when they ask questions like right, that. Right. Right. That's what. That's how it usually comes off when we get that out here. They're like, "Where you from, though?" Yeah. Like, "Where you from?" From then they hit you with that. Who your people? Right. By the third, where you're from, baby? I don't know. I'm here. We cousins. At this point. Might as well Earth. be. Earth. <laughs> lifted off their shoulder once they found out that actually, you know, my heritage is from Jamaica. People can't seem to accept that I'm from America. It's like something very hard to grasp. And so after I started getting these comments, like, like, where are you from? Like, digging into my history. Like, like when I noticed that people started to go, you like, deeper, then I was just like, no, I'm not telling people, like, where my parents are from, you should accept that I just said I'm from New York. I'm not embarrassed of being Jamaican, Jamaican American, nothing, but it kind of made me feel like you're trying to put me in a box. Um, the very second good. type of um, comments which I do get, a lot of people are very nice when they first approach me, but then mm. they go just, it always turns like left field. They're just like, oh, your skin is so beautiful. And I take that very nicely. I, I love that. I love my skin. They're always like, oh my God, your skin is so beautiful and so like smooth. And I'm like, oh, thank you. Thank you. And then they're just like, oh my God. And it's just like so dark. They come next to me and then they put their hand like <laughs> no, next no. to mine. Like, no. And they're just like, look like I'm almost getting to your skin complexion. I just need uh -uh. to go to like Italy for a summer. And then like, I'm at the same complexion as you. So I, I get that a lot where they put their skin next to my skin and then say, ha ha ha, I'm almost like your skin complexion. Ha ha ha. And it's like, that's that's actually not funny. I also <sighs> even had one person like Jesus, put like a pen tip, like a black pen tip like to my skin complexion and like compared like the black pen to my skin. Like, oh my God, you guys are like the same color when really, not really, but just ignorant comments. So, is Germany safe? I think yes. I, 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 I never had that one before. That's kind of, now, I've had a girl say, you know, I, I'm, she'll say that she want to be darker, but I don't know about that one. That one kind of, that one's strange. I don't got no comment for that one. That one's strange. 
I, I, y'all gonna have to let us in your head on that one because I don't got no comments on that one. Yeah, it wouldn't fly. It wouldn't fly here. I, I that, that would be looked at as very rude. I don't know. Sometimes I be feeling like people is fetish fetishing. That so, is the thing. So, so, fetish is <laughs> that so is definitely, I'm definitely a gonna thing. give you a. A compliment is a compliment is good, but when you start to like, uh, I don't know what to. I, I really don't know what to call this because this is not what we go through. I never had this experience, yeah. but like a compliment is nice. But at some point, it's like put a plug. Yeah, that's enough. You don't need to do you, another you extra stuff. Keep that up here. Keep it up here. Well, what is curiosity to this though? Like, what is the curiosity level? I don't understand it. That one a little strange. Y'all got to listen about that. Shaky. Shaking. 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 I think 100% yes. I think if you can live in America, you can for sure live in Heard Germany. It. I don't think yep. you would have to worry if you come to Germany about your safety. Now, maybe this could change, for example, in like East Germany. That might be a little bit different. So then to kind of answer, I guess, the big question of is Germany racist? Um, I think right now it's a hard time because of all the refugees that are coming into the country and so there's a lot of, I think, resistance going on between the Germans and the refugees. So I basically had this experience where I guess people just immediately thought that I was a refugee and would give me some type of like attitude or like some oh, wow. type of resistance or just nasty stare. And so I will give you just one kind of example of how this kind of affected me in a negative way. This last year or two years ago, my two sisters visited me in Germany and an incident happened where on the bus, this guy like physically pushed me off the bus, like physically pushed me off the bus and thank goodness i had my older sister there because you know she's a buff girl she can fight and she basically stood up for me like pushed him back and like we were arguing like with this guy and he had a friend too so it was two of the germans against like me and my sister and i had my little sister there as well and she is just she was just I think 15 at the time and she mm. was so scared but she was just in the background and so it was just me and my sister arguing back with this guy and I'll never forget what he said he was just like go back to your country like we don't want you here blah 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 and I was just like oh my goodness like oh my, my sisters God. are just here on vacation they just wanted to see your beautiful country and then this is the type of reaction that people have towards you. And him and his friend, they really thought like me and my sisters, you know, group of black girls, we were like, you know, refugee women or something like that. And as soon as we did open- Okay, so I, I, I uh, do want to say this. No, go ahead. This video was recorded three years ago. Yeah. So I just wanted to put that out there. Hmm. Wait, baby. I don't know if I should leave my comment for this. When you have those thoughts, it's best that you keep it to yourself. Nah, really I have though. learned. <laughs> Yeah, that's our mouths and they realized that we were Americans then they kind of like toned it down just a bit I never thought that would have happened to me it did change my perspective of Germany at that time um, I never thought it would have gotten physical but it did so I will say that as a black person going anywhere in the world you need to watch your back you need to look out Germany is a safe country but they have these one in a million people who you will possibly encounter. But again, this is not saying that Germany is a racist country or anything like that. But I'm saying that like in any other country, you will find racist. It just is a fact. And again, I don't want anyone to take this video in a negative way. It was just some experiences that I went through. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys. All right, y'all, we're going to end it right there, right okay. there, right there. Ooh. It was All good right. to hear a woman's perspective yes. on this. We did get the gentleman perspective. You know what I'm saying? This was very, you know, random. I did not see this coming, you know. Yeah, yeah. She brought up some different things this time. Yeah, it's yeah. different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Overall, I get a good vibe from the Germans. Yeah, I mean, we do get a good vibe. But, you mm -hmm. know, when you get to hear people's, you know, perspective. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is her perspective. I mean, it's her story. That's how it, it went out for her. So you can't fault her for what she, what she went through. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, don't do that. Because sometimes people be trying to t tweak how people yeah, feel yeah, yeah. about things. It's Down, their life. You, they, you can't downplay an experience. Yeah, it's you their life. Okay? You just can't. You just yeah. can't. Yeah. So, again, like we told y'all earlier, it's good for not only ourselves, but other people of the black diaspora. That's to right. To have these type of videos. These videos are needed. 
All right, so we hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like to support the channel that way, as well as our reaction request form is in our description, description box, box below. below. We'll see you soon. Peace.